What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing the May the 4th special today. So happy May the 4th guys. And we are going to be looking at every Jedi from the Star Wars Clone Wars line in 2008. Well, almost. Because we are missing three. They are very uh, minimal. So let's just go ahead and get right into those ones that we're missing. So we're missing an Ahsoka figure, which is, which is the exact same figure um, it's the exact same figure of this Ahsoka, just with a poncho on from um, Ambush on Vulture's Call of Battle Pack. And same thing with this Anakin. I don't know which one it is, if it's the one with the knees or not, but he just has a poncho on. And then there's another Anakin with the um, Battle of Christophsis, or from, from the Battle of Christophsis. So, yeah. Um, he I think he's just a little bit more dirty or anything, or something like that. So, yeah, they released, like... A few Jedi's, you know, a um, good amount of Jedi, you know, all the main ones that you kind of see in season one: Anakin, Obi Wan, Ahsoka, Yoda, Plo Koon, and then um, Kit Fisto there, which is really really cool. Nice little lineup. They did a lot. They did four Anakins, which is really really not, um, nice and kind of insane, honestly. Anakin throughout the Clone Wars, they did release Anakin a whole bunch. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at the first one here. And I'm surprised I got all these guys to stand. But here is the first Anakin. I do have reviews on all of these guys except Kiss Fisto. Um, but here's Anakin. This is the first Anakin um, that you get in the whole line. Or that came out first. And, you know, he's, he looks pretty good from the neck down. His head sculpt is um, alright, as you can see. It's not the most accurate, but for uh, 2008 there... Um, you know, you can't really complain too much. It actually, doesn't look too, too bad. And But I don't really like, um, from the um, torso up here and the arms and everything, he has really nice articulation, ball hinges, ball hinges, and then swivels. But just once you get to the waist, all he has is leg swivels, which is really unfortunate, and it really hinders this guy. But yeah, he did release in the first wave of the Clone Wars here. Yeah, and so no knees or anything, which really is a big factor into this next figure, which I really do like, and it's a really good upgrade here. It is the, this is the Anakin Skywalker released in the um, Bomar Monastery Assault Battle Pack. Um, it was him and a, and a battle droid on a stab, <clears throat> on staps, and he's really nice. He has this um, soft goods, which... They're nice. They they don't look too too bad. They don't. They're not the greatest. As you can see, the blue is a lot uh, brighter, and so is the brown. The brown isn't too too bad. It's more the blue than anything. Um, they don't lay the best either. But honestly, it it's not really that big of a a um, inconvenience for me. All of this is the same articulation, and then uh, the uh, I think the head sculpts. I think the head face painting is the same as well actually no they aren't this guy has black eyes and this one has blue eyes so that's very interesting but the i think the head sculpt is the exact same i don't know why they changed it but all the paint apps are the same but he does have the uh, knees here as you can see and then ball hinge ankles which is really really good and you can't really i mean the only thing you can really complain about is the soft goods maybe if they're a different color but and they kind of flare out a little bit as you can see so now we're gonna have to try and stick and this, this guy doesn't stand the best either none of these guys really do besides yoda try please stand and next up is obi-wan kenobi he is the second he was the second jedi released here and he is he said he's all right you know the head sculpt isn't the greatest as you can see um you know, same thing with, it's kind of like the same thing with Anakin. Torso and arms are really good with the ball hinges and soles at the wrist. But just when you get to the legs, it's just, um, no swivels, or just, or just swivels, no knees, um, and no ankles, which is really unfortunate. But, um, they do fix that in, later in the line, and he gets soft goods and knees and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this guy's alright. But you need an Obi Wan, and this actual this Obi Wan was released in the uh, two hundred uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and two hundred twelve Attack Battalion um, battle pack. I do have the single card one release, single single card release, excuse me, 
but you know I just got this guy for the video so nothing too crazy about this Obi-Wan it's just Obi-Wan Kenobi now next up in the line would be Yoda this Yoda is abysmal he is buns man like his head sculpt isn't bad actually and then his lightsaber is good but other than that he's, he's actually buns I would not get this guy at all um he just had this big play feature and it's just not very good you can, you can see the spring in there actually but he just had this like little force blast thing and you, it's just not good like oh sorry about that it's just really not good and I really don't like it at all um so yeah don't get this guy he's buns it's just slider man right there next up in the line would be ahsoka now this figure i definitely get this figure because she's pretty rare and they don't release for some reason in the whole clone line they bear clone line they barely release any ahsoka's they release four they released this ahsoka a couple times and then the season three one once which that one is so so rare um the space suit and then the aqua one i think and that's it so she got some variations but i wish they re-released um the season three design more um a little bit more than once but other than that enough about that this figure is actually really really pretty good in my opinion the face sculpt is actually pretty good for 2008 and yeah there's not much to complain about the paint detail is good the little paddle on braid looks pretty nice Obviously, her arms aren't going to have, like, elbows or anything, but she does have wrist articulation. And, as you can see, or forearm, I shall say, and no elbows. But I'm not really going to complain about that, just because look how skinny her arms are. And then you do get some soft goods right here, which is actually really nice. Okay, I was surprised that she held on to her <clears throat> lightsaber that long, but her lightsaber is really nice. I really do like it. We're not even going to try to put that back in her hand. But she does have knees. How are they going to give Ahsoka Tano knees and not the, your other two main characters knees? Like, how are they going to do that? Like, makes no sense. But, and they actually gave her ankles as well. So, yeah. I'm surprised she's standing. I'm surprised Plo Koon is standing. Plo Koon is the next, is next. And this guy is actually really, really good. Um, they're not really, really good, but he is pretty good, in my opinion. They do make another, a better, basically, all these in the line, they make, they make another version, and they're better, so. Um, but, like, for the first run of, uh, for the first run of these Jedi, they're just very under-articulated for some reason, and I do know, know why. Like, basically for all of them, except Ahsoka and Yoda, because Yoda's buns get out of here, Yoda. Um... They just didn't give him any, they only gave him leg swivels, which is just really unfortunate. Like, I don't understand why, but the face sculpt is, the head sculpt is really, really good. Really accurate. And it does come with this plastic hood, and you could also do the <clears throat> overhead design, which is, actually doesn't look bad either. And yeah, but all the paint work on all these guys are pr is pretty, pretty good in my opinion. And I really, I really do like it. And yeah, this is just a really nice figure. Yeah. I just really like Plo Koon. Plo Koon is one of my favorite Jedi. And he, he gets some good um, screen time in the Clone Wars. One thing I kind of noticed. Let me go get. The, let me pick him up. <laughs> and that is a problem with this Plo Koon. He doesn't stand. He's just kind of like. All these guys are like standing up straight as you can see. But he has like these. Bin, he has a bend at his knees. And he is really hard to stand. So. Yeah like I'm not even. I don't even know if I'm going to try and stand him. I don't, I don't think he's going to stand. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there. Now let's grab Kit Fisto. Fun fact about me. Kit Fisto is my favorite Jedi. And this guy, they did make a, a better and updated version of, of Kit Fisto. Um, like the Larry Grievous where he has um, his Padawan's lightsabers. Honestly, the only thing I'm like I have to complain about this guy. It's just he has no knees or ankles. Like, that's literally it. But other than that, he's actually really, really good. Like, his look at that head face sculpt, like, in the tendrils and everything. 
Like that looks so so good. Like the paintwork, the sculpting, everything is really good on this guy. His neck may seem a little long, but other than that, man, like he's just really good. I like the blue paint details on the um little hand armor pieces. I don't really know what they're called. And then the robes look pretty good. And then this is like where he just struggles. It's no knees or anything but yeah this guy is really good actually like a good um aesthetically pleasing figure and yeah i feel like they did a little bit better on the aliens than the humans but they do get better than the humans um down the line so yeah guys that's basically it for this may the fourth special Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video and want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. May the force be with you.